Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these retro chic seed beads earrings. Consider subscribing with the bell for more tutorials like this one. Also like, share and comment and in this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. A lot of work goes in this video so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads and they are iris, purple and white. Here I'm also using earring findings. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 mm of thickness or size D. You could use fire line as well. Here I'm using size 11 beading needle. You could use similar size of needle like 10 or 12. And these are scissors. You could also use pliers if you need to go through the difficult bits, but they are not obligatory. And now I'm going to take about an arm span and a half on my needle. If you want to make it with one piece of thread, you should take arm span and a half. Uh, but uh, otherwise, if you don't like to work with long thread, take a comfortable length of thread and then add more thread. Okay, now let's start. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 12 white beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. Okay, and I'm making my knot by making a loop and pulling just like this and then I want to make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Then what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction and I want to take five purple beads Okay, five of them and after I take them I skip the bead that's on my way and I go through the following. You see what I do here. Five again and I skip the bead that's on my way and I go through the following. five, skip one bead and go through the following. Now repeat this three more times until the end of this row. Okay guys and with the last five beads I go here in the very first white bead where I started the whole row from. Okay. Now what I want to do in my next step is make an additional thread pad. And how I do this, I go first through these two of those five beads that I have. Then I skip the third one or the central one. And I go like this through the next two and through the white after that. And when I pull guys, you see I have an, an angle here. Then I'm going to repeat it. I go here through two beads, skip the angle bead, go through the next two. And when I pull, I have this. Okay, I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, do this three more times and I'll meet you here. 
Okay, guys, and I just did my last angle here. I want to go through some beads in this direction. And I want to exit through one of those beads that are sticking out. And I take two iris beads, one white bead and two iris beads. And I go in the next one that is sticking out. And I'm going to continue this, guys, until the end of this row, and I'll meet you here. And I'm here, guys, where I added this last sequence of this row. Now, what I want to do is go through these two iris beads and exit out of the white one. Three white. Go backwards through this white. And then, if you can, in one movement, exit out of the next white. If not, do it in two movement if it's easier for you. Okay, and here when I go back I have this beautiful cross of four beads. It is also called right angle weave and I'm going back here through those this white bead with three more whites and exit out of the next white. Again, right angle weave, and I'll show it one more time. And let you do this by yourself until the end of this row, and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Now, what I want to do is to exit through one of those white beads here, this one. And I'm going to take nine purple beads. Okay, I have my nine here. And as I take them, I go here in this white bead of my next cross. Okay, then I have this beautiful arch and I go in the next white and again from the center to the outside in the next white. Okay, then I take nine again and I go through this white and through the following, if you can do this in one movement to be easier. Then in the next white bead, nine beads again, and repeat the same thing. Okay, my friends, now repeat this step of adding nine beads until the end of this row, and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and I just added here my last nine beads from this row. Now, I want to go in this direction through the white, and I want to exit through the second purple bead after that. One, two purples. And I'm going to take six white beads. You see six of them and as I'm exiting here I'm going in the neighbor purple bead just like this and I turn it in this direction. Then I go backwards through these three white beads like that. I take three more white beads and I go in the next purple. Okay, press it a little bit like this. And then go back through these three again. Okay, I have my first element of three beads ready. 
Now what I want to do is go one more time through the central column of three and then through these three purple beads, these two and the following. The following is in fact the central of the nine beads that I have. Okay? And from here on I will start absolutely the same thing. I take six white beads, slide those down, go in the neighbor purple bead, fix it like this in this direction, and go through the three that are next to this purple. Take three more beads, go in the next purple, and go back through these three. Okay, then I always go through the central bead like before, and then through all of those beads in this direction exiting in the next cross. Now I go here through this white bead and then through the next white and the following two purple beads. Okay, I take six white beads, slide those down, go in the next purple and in these three white beads. Three white, go in the next purple, backwards through these three white beads, central three whites, and these three purples. It is absolutely the same thing. I will show you this same thing for the fourth time. Okay, six. Next purple. Three white beads. Again, three beads. Go in this direction. Next column. And go through all of those beads like this. And now guys, it is absolutely the same thing until the end of this row. Just rewind the video and repeat those steps where when I'm from here, from the second purple, rewind and repeat, 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 and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and I just finished this last element here. I went back, as always, through this bead and through the following, but I stop up to here, two purple beads away from this right angle weave here. And what I want to do is go through these three white beads in this direction. And I take three iris beads and I go here in these three white beads. Then what I do is that I go through these two purple beads here in this direction. Okay. And my goal, guys, is to go in these three white beads. And I need five purple beads. And I go through these three white beads. Then I go through these three purple beads. 
and I go through these three white beads as well. Three iris beads go in these three. go through those two purples exit out of the next three white beads five purples and do absolutely the same thing go in the next two purple beads because my goal guys is to exit through these three whites and take three iris then go like this and next three whites and five purple beads and it is absolutely the same thing guys until the end of this row I will do this off camera and I'll be back Okay guys, and I'm here where I just added my last five beads from this row. Now what I want to do is go in the next three white beads. Okay. Then guys, I prefer to flip my work because it's easier for me to go in the other direction. Okay, I flip it like this. And now as I'm exiting here, I'm going to take 11 iris beads so it's 11 iris and as I'm exiting here from the middle column I go also in the first bead of the next middle column and I pull okay now I have this beautiful arch here and in my next step, guys, I go in the following white and in the following iris. And I take three purple beads. I skip here the central one and go in the next iris and in the next white bead. Okay. Then go in the neighbor white again. Okay, and here I have 11. Go like this. And then through these two beads. Three purples. Skip the central one and go through the following. and then go in the neighbor one okay and take 11 iris beads go here in the neighbor white then neighbor white and iris and three purple beads okay and I'm going to continue this guys until the end of this row if you forget how I'm doing something just rewind the video and repeat these steps from here one more time and meet me okay guys and I'm here at my last step of this row 
and I'm adding these beads, these three purple beads. Now I'm going to make an additional row, guys. I'm going one more time through all of the beads here at the edge. By the way, if you want uh, your work not to be soft, you could uh, make several approaches. One of them is to put a clear crafting glue at the back or a clear nail polish. The other thing that uh, one of the beautiful ladies that comment under my video set is that like croqueting, you could dip your work in a sugary water and it will start laying flat after that. Another thing uh, you could do is to use fire line instead of nylon nylon thread and I think it won't be that much soft. Okay, so these were my advices. Now let's continue. I'm going through these beads like that. And then I exit through one of those purple beads. And then I take three white beads and I go like this. In this row I'm just gonna be adding three white beads everywhere. And I will make an additional thread pad to make the edge of this work look better. If you have problems going through some beads, use your pliers. Okay, so I'm doing absolutely the same thing, going through all of those beads. Then through these three beads. Three white beads. Okay, I have this. One more time, three whites. And I will continue doing this, guys, until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring. Okay, my friends, and here I am at the last step, where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Okay, I have this. Then I go in the next white bead. And also in the following three iris beads. And then through three more iris. In this way I'm exiting through the sixth iris counting from here, which is the middle one of the 11 beads that I added. And now I take a seed bead, my earring finding an a seed bead. And I go back like this through this dark one. Then what I do is that I reinforce I go in this direction and now what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through the following few beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread. 
Okay guys, and now my retro chick seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell if you still haven't. And if you like, share and comment, you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like what I'm doing here. You could check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.